Today we're going to look at uh, electrolysis of a solution of copper chloride and here we have the apparatus of how, we, how we're going to do it. Now this is the solution, copper chloride, it's a blue solution. We're going to need power pack, two graphite electrodes and two crocodile clips, some blue litmus, a spacer and a beaker. Now I'm going to put this together. So first of all you pour your solution of copper chloride into a beaker. So I think about halfway should be okay. Then we connect the electrodes to the crocodile clips like this. So one clip there and one clip here. And then these go to the to the leads, like so. So there's a black lead and there's a red lead. Now the red lead is the positive lead, so this is going to be our positive electrode, and the black lead is going to be our negative electrode. Now we've got to make sure it's very important that when we put this together that the electrodes don't touch. So here we've got a spacer. And we're going to insert the electrodes into the spacer so it keeps them apart. So you don't want these touching when you turn the, uh, the power on, otherwise you'll get a short circuit. And all we do is put it into the solution, like that, making sure that the uh, electrodes are, are apart. And then now we are ready to, to turn on, on the power. So. What we do is we turn it on the lowest voltage on the power pack and then we switch it on and then we look at our electrodes and then we're going to be looking for bubbles and uh, if there's no bubbles we turn the, the power up so when you turn it on you will see bubbles forming at the positive electrode and if you lower it's blue Litmus paper next to the bubbles, make sure you're going under the solution. The litmus turns white, like that. You can see the litmus paper has turned white and that's because the, the le electrode has produced chlorine gas. So after a minute, we turn the power off at the mains and then we lift the electrodes out and then you can see on the negative electrode we have copper build up. Using the spatula you can sc scrape it and you can see the, the copper that's formed.